This video will go over how to set up an ACI SDA amplifier. ACI offers an assortment of trunk, bridger, and line extender configurations. Our amplifiers come with a highly advanced programmable AGC called the DSIM pre-installed. The DSIM can be set to lock on to any analog or digital channel and will minimize downstream level variance, eliminating any need to return for seasonal rebalancing. All amps come with forward and return JXP pad adjustable EQs installed, so there is no need to stock any fixed value EQs. The setup of our amplifiers is extremely straightforward. There is no manual backoff pot, ADU pot, ADU pad, jumpers, or switches involved in the setup. The DSIM takes care of all that for you. The included power pack, located in the housing lid, accepts an input between 45 and 90 volts AC to provide 24 volts DC to the RF module. Begin by prepping the module for installation. The forward input and reverse output padding and equalization come without pads installed. They are set up using standard JXP pads. Pad and EQ according to system design or refer to the amplifier you are replacing to achieve ballpark levels and prepare the module for setup. If you are installing the module into a housing with a short run of cable leading into it and you need a cable simulator or cable equivalent EQ to attenuate the high end frequencies, you can pop out the pre-installed pad adjustable AEQ and replace it with a pad adjustable ACEQ. Amplifiers with configurable ports come with jumpers pre-installed. Use a jumper, splitter, or directional coupler to configure the amplifier according to system design. The direction of the through port is indicated on the top of the directional couplers. Ensure that all four power directors are inserted in the stop position. Remove the power connector, loosen the four module hold down screws, and remove the module from the housing. The SDA housing can be mounted on a strand, pedestal, or wall. Prepare the connector pin by cutting it to one and a half inches. To accurately cut a pin, use the measurement gauge provided on the housing near ports one and two. Push the connector's collar against the edge of the housing as shown. Cut the connector pin off at the indicated mark. Verify that the pin length matches the gauge marking. Remove the seizure connectors from the housing. Screw the connector body into the insert. Ensure the pin is visible in the seizure location and the length allows proper contact to the seizure connector. Install the remaining connectors as needed. Screw the seizure connectors into the housing. Hand tighten the screw and give half a turn with the driver or torque between 75 and 100 inch pounds. Place the module back into the housing and tighten the four module hold down screws. Power up the amp. The DSIM AGC will take a moment to turn on, then it will begin to flash blue on and off. This indicates that the DSIM is in manual mode. Starting with the port that will be powering the amplifier, configure the power directors one by one as needed. Balance the levels on the amp with padding and equalization. There is no need for any fixed value EQs. All you need is JXP pads. The JXP pad value sets the value of the EQ. If you need a 5 dB EQ, then simply plug in a 5 dB JXP pad. If you need a cable simulator EQ, pop out the pre-installed regular AEQ and replace it with a pad adjustable AC EQ. You can adjust any forward output pad by up to plus or minus 3 dB if needed. As with any amplifier, allow the amp to warm up and reach operating temperature before balancing. Once you have the amp balanced, you are ready to set the DSIM into AGC mode. Plug the controller into the DSIM. The controller LED will flash red and blue for a few seconds while it syncs up, then it will turn solid blue to indicate that the DSIM is still in manual mode. Press the mode button on the controller to cycle the DSIM over to AGC mode. The controller will flash blue and red for about 30 seconds while it uploads the pilot channel into the DSIM and the DSIM locks onto the pilot. When the alignment is finished, the controller will flash blue on and off rapidly, indicating that the DSIM is now in AGC mode. Remove the controller from the DSIM. While in AGC mode, the LED on the DSIM will flash a pattern representing the pilot channel it has locked onto. In this example, the DSIM is set to channel 88 digital. Here we see 8 quick blinks to represent 80, 
another eight quake blinks to represent eight, and then two long blinks to represent digital, as opposed to just one long blink, which would represent analog. Here are some examples of blinking patterns for other channels. Close the housing cover and tighten the six cover bolts, and the amp setup is complete. The DSIM allows you to precisely adjust and compensate when setting up in extreme temperatures. Making an adjustment when it is extremely hot or cold outside will ensure that the DSIM can take full advantage of the Bode range, eliminating the need to return to the amp for seasonal rebalancing. First, let's do a quick review of the setup. After installing the amp into the housing, balance the levels on the amp and plug the controller into the DSIM. The DSIM is still in manual mode at this point in the setup. This is where you will want to make an extreme temperature adjustment if it is needed. If the ambient temperature outside is between 40 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, there is no need to make a temperature adjustment. If the ambient temperature is outside of that range, you can use the plus and minus buttons on the controller to make an adjustment. For example, if the ambient weather is above 100 degrees, tap the plus button on the controller a couple times to raise the level reading on your meter by 2 dB. Then, rebalance the amp at the input to get back to system design levels. Now that the amp is balanced and the extreme temperature adjustment was made, press the mode button on the controller to cycle the DSIM over to AGC mode. Data sheets with block diagrams and detailed amplifier specifications can be downloaded by heading to www.acicoms.com and selecting the ACI Amplifiers link from the drop down menu of the ACI Products tab. The controller is used to upload the pilot channel into the DSIM and place it into AGC mode. The back of the controller shows what channel it is programmed for. The mode button cycles through the three available modes. Clicking it while in manual mode will switch the DSIM into AGC mode. Clicking again will switch the DSIM into thermal Bode mode. Clicking once more will cycle the DSIM back to manual mode. The plus and minus buttons are only needed when making extreme temperature adjustments. It is helpful to know that the thermal Bode mode is available, but most systems opt not to set the DSIM into this mode since the AGC mode provides a more precise gain control.